Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me we have a 1965 Pro Touring Fastback. Before we go into detail on this car, I want you guys to go down below and look at our merchandise section. We've got these classic car t-shirts that are getting sold right now, and every month we update them. So this is from last month, our Big Deal t-shirt, pretty sweet. That's the Cadillac that we put the horns on and I dressed up like a, uh, a cowboy. But back to this ca car at hand, we've got a 1965 Fastback. It's complemented in a beautiful maroon with a red and violet pearl over black vinyl interior. Beautiful. Back to this 65 Mustang. This is the most sought after body style you're gonna find in regards to the Mustang lineup. Just because of those swoops in the rear and just the overall appearance. We're gonna start off with the paint here. It's got a maroon with a red and violet pearl over black vinyl interior. This has made it to a four speed top loader transmission and the chrome and bright work look great. This car is extremely solid. So if you go and look for a fastback in this condition, you're gonna have a really hard time finding one with the body lines just like this. So you can pretty much measure each body line and they all match up properly. So this is a no hit car. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these beautiful hood pins out. Take a look at how nice that is. These are not cheap, they're not rusting. And then we're gonna release it, pull up. What we have underneath here is a Ford Racing uh, 302 that's been built. They built this thing in 2007. You've got all of your uh, insulation for the hood, and this is a fiberglass hood that fits properly. You can see your braking system, and this has four-wheel disc brakes on all four corners. It's powered by MSD ignition, and then it has a double pumper carb underneath there. This thing wants to go. Also, we're complemented by a set of coilovers front and rear, and then when we get to the back, you'll be able to see the four link that it has under there. So this thing actually handles like it's on rails. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. You've got an aluminum radiator and an Optima battery too. And then here is your designation for the VIN. So this is an A code car. Very nice. We're gonna walk down the passenger side now. I want you to take note of the body lines. I'm gonna say that continually through the video because it's very difficult to find a fastback or a convertible or a 65 Mustang of any sort of condition to have body lines that fit properly. That means that this is a no accident car, as I said before. When we put it in the air, I want you to take a look at all the suspension, all the body components, and you're gonna see how nice it really is. The roof line itself is in extremely nice condition, and all the bright work surrounding the glass looks great as well. Your windshield wipers work as they should, as do all the interior components, which we'll go over when we go for the test drive. You can see how nice the chrome is right here. A Little bit of imperfections, but nothing crazy and they actually install the gaskets properly. You've got your rear windows. It's a signature for this car. That's why it's got the swooping trunk area. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the driver's side here. You've got original door cards, seats, and then they've added the steering wheel with the wood grain, and you can see your Hearst four-speed selector. That's a top loader with a heavy-duty clutch. When you come over here, look at how nice all the lines are. There's no rust, no filler. And then this vehicle is sold as a rebuilt vehicle. So what happened is at one point this vehicle was stolen, but then they decided to restore it. They chose this vehicle as a candidate and they replaced every single thing on it. But in regards to damage from an accident, that's not the case. You can look at the rear. You can see that all the lights are operating as they should. And you can see through all the glass back there. Rear quarter, nice and solid. Door closes, look at that. It's crazy. Perfect gaps. I don't really feel any filler, and when you put it in the air, you're gonna see how nice it is as well. Let's go ahead and open up the trunk so you can see all the lines here. As we look at the rear, look at how nice the chrome is. It's a uh, driver quality chrome. All of the tail lights have been replaced. And then the, the best thing to do when you're looking at a fastback is to step back and look at all the body lines. So you can see if it's ever been wrecked, in the corners here, 
or if the filler portions have been replaced or they're full of Bondo or metal. Let's open it up. Extremely clean, gaskets installed properly. You can see that this is all metal. So the quarter hasn't been replaced. And then look at the trunk, brand new gas tank because it's been completely rebuilt. Nice and solid, nice trunk mat. And let me do the same side over here. So you can see that there has not been any accidents or repairs to the quarter. And this is not rotted out or rusted out, neither is this. Passenger side looks the same as the driver's side. Rear quarter looks great. Nice and solid. And it's like a mirror. When you get down here, you can see me and I can see the camera guy. Uh, it's complemented by a set of Foose wheels, front and rear, and it has four-wheel disc brakes on all four corners, so it stops really nice. Go ahead and open up the passenger side. Look at how nice it is. Camera bag is not included. All the glass goes up and down with ease. No scratches that I could see. And then your air condition is right here. So you just pop that and fold it out. Let's go ahead and look at the fender here. This is the same gap as the other side. Nice and solid. Same thing, it's all metal. I can't wait to show you guys underneath. Let's go ahead and start it up and take it for a ride. Okay, we're inside the Mustang right now. I'm looking at the gauges. We've got our fuel gauge here, our oil pressure, and our speedometer. The speedometer is showing uh, 140 mile an hour, and then it shows 47,000 miles on the clock, but it's gonna be sold as exempt. You have an aftermarket voltage gauge and temperature gauge. I really like that because this gives you the actual temperature, not just the hot and cold variant. You've got your blower controls here, and then watch how fast this thing starts. Take a look at how nice the dash is. Headliner is in ex excellent shape as well. And then you got your rear seats that look great. You can actually hear the electric pump back there. And then all the carpet looks great as well. You can see the Hearst four speed. I'm really excited to take this thing for a ride. They say it's a thrill. So we're gonna push that clutch in. It's heavy duty, so it feels really nice and firm. It grabs really easy as well. You could feel the suspension. Oh man. So this has a rack and pinion set up, which is really nice. Right now we are at uh, 165 degrees. We'll let this gate open up and we'll give her a little bit of gas. Take a look at the glove box too. Look how nice this is. It's just beautiful. It's very firm, the suspension, because of the coilovers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's fast. That's just partial too. I'm not rolling it out. You've got a tachometer here. Uh, it's set up to shift around 5,000 RPMs. I'm gonna shift it at 4,500 just to be nice to it. Steering feels very responsive. I mean, it feels like a modern car, like a sports car. Take this corner. No pop out. We're at uh, 55 miles an hour at 2,000 RPMs. You can hear all the suspension, uh, but it's very firm. I don't hear any funny sounds, no popping from it. It just sounds really good. These motors, these 302s, just love to wind up. It has a taller gear in the rear, and it also has four link back there. So what we'll do is we're gonna get to the end over here, and uh, I'll test her out. Right now at cruising, we're at 100 and uh, almost 190 degrees, so the therm thermostat should kick on shortly and open up. Feels really good, oil pressure's good. Uh, your wipers work as they should. Let me downshift it in a second. <laughs> it feels real, brakes feel great too. I keep on hitting the horn. So this is second gear.
That feels really good. Not bad. What we're going to do is we'll turn left here. That's third gear. It revs up so quick. We'll get in a second. Oh, this car is a lot of fun. That aluminum radiator is keeping it cool. I'm really happy with the, the temperature right now. No smoke coming from the rear, so that means the seals are good. We're coming to a brake right here. I'll, I'll brake test it. Nice and smooth. We'll turn left here. The clutch just feels perfect. If you have any questions about this car, please give us a call. 954-363-2261. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this, and please be sure to like and subscribe so we can give you more content. This is a real deal Pro Touring fun machine.